In this example, we're going to show how we can do a, a, a quick basic setup using the resonance mode probes so that we can get a, a impedance plane display uh, similar to what we're doing with uh, earlier versions of our bondoscopes. We'll take this step by step. For this demonstration we're going to use this uh, standard. Basically it's five layers of aluminum, 40 thousandths each layer with a bond line. Underneath what we've done is we've back drilled holes for at each bond line point. So what we're going to do is measure these holes at a different bond line. So we're going to look at uh, phase and amplitude. Uh, for this application, I've selected the uh, L3 uh, 3330 probe as part of the kit. Uh, again, I'll disconnect it to the connector. The gauge will automatically uh, go into the probe mode for this probe, which is the L3330. It will go to defaults. I will hit enter. Now what I want to do is I want to calibrate this screen. So basically when I mean calibration I want to find the resonance null point for the resonance probe. So we will go and press sweep and dots and we see mode, we see horizontal vertical magnitude and phase components of the signal. To set the null, all we do is hit null. And we have two modes of nulling. Uh, the simple mode would be to null in air like we, we've done in the past. And to do that, we follow directions on the screen. It says press enter for air null. So we will do that. Okay, so that sets our null frequency. Our null frequency for this probe is uh, 327.6 kilohertz. We will go back, hit sweep, and RF dots, get into our RF display. We can see our null our dot position in air. Place it on an area of the pro, uh, part that's good. We'll go ahead and know that. I you can see part, air. Then we will go and look and find the, the indications. There's one indication. What I'll do there is then I will enter that in my dot modes. I will do that by in our main menu. Go to dots. This will, this will set up, go back, hit enter, we will go store, we can either use the arrows or we can use the encoder knob, if you press the enter knob, it will store the first point and automatically sequence to the next dot position, which I will locate. Once I've located next dot position, I'll hit enter, third dot position, and fourth dot position. Now I've located all the dot positions. What I want to do now is set our gain and our rotation to provide the best separation of all the dot indications. So first I'll start off by introducing some gain. It's unity gain, you'll see that uh, the dots move away from each other based on the gain settings. Uh, I also will want to rotate And 
we are rotating around the center. Now if you notice, um, we have our indications in various quadrants. I notice that I need to reposition dot position number four into its correct position. Obviously, at the gain setting I had, it didn't have sense enough sensitivity to pick it up just right. So what I will do is I will go back to dots using my arrow keys and hit enter. It automatically sequences it dot position five, but I want to change dot position four, so I will change it back to dot position 4, go back to store, hit enter, hit enter again, and that restores my new dot position. Then I will go ahead and finish my rotation and gain. Now to increase separation, I'm increasing gain, but we're moving everything off to the screen. So to compensate for that, we can actually move our zero position in the center of the screen. Zero position is not the same, it's different than null. I'm going back to main menu, go to position, press enter, go to X position, it's highlighted, we can adjust it so that we can get more on screen. So now we have all of our dot positions and I can again rotate from this menu also to give us the best separation of all the indications on this particular part. Then I can turn on the alarm. Now the alarm based on 